Okay, folks, so continuing on the series of the sort of story behind terrible fire cards and each one of them, I, I guess this is the next, this is the second in the in the series. This is the TF530. I think this might be a Rev2. It is. Um, it uh, followed on from the, um, the previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Um, this was my first attempt at an O30 and to add some RAM and... Um, I thought. I think at the time I thought uh, that you know, for me, this the complexity of this 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 board compared to the previous board, the the TF five twenty was 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 is a massive step up for me at the time. Uh, the idea was to try and get um, some RAM, so I found I had some RAM in my. So the story behind the two meg of RAM on this is, I had these chips sitting in my cupboard, and I'd had them in my cupboard for years, so I was going to use them. I, ha I had a big pile of them, so you know, I mean, I know it wasn't great for the people wanting to build these at the time or if you're trying to build one now but the whole idea of this was excuse me there the whole idea of this was I had the stuff available I was doing this on the cheap back then I think this is still a dirty PCB zero and it was my first attempt at doing an IDE interface an FPU so there was a, there was a, a fair amount of um, of uh, development had gone into this in terms of evolution from the previous board so O30 FPU and we're now into the realm of two CPLEs, and I think mostly of that that carry, carries on, uh, except for a few exceptions. Um, what I found with this one was, I think this is the board, this is one of the boards where I first discovered I needed the clock buffers, and I backported that to the 520, but, so that's why there was a Rev3 of the 520, but it was my first uh, experience of doing ID interface, gale emulation, um, all of those things were developed in this, this firmware. Um, if you don't know what gale emulation is, basically it it um, it means that the A five hundred ROMs pretend to be the um, IDE chipset that's in an Amiga six hundred and an Amiga twelve hundred, which means that you can just plug one of these into a an Amiga um, into an Amiga five hundred, and it you know you don't need if it's got the most most up to date workbench uh, sorry Kickstart discs in it. If you've got those in it then it will just boot and it will work and you don't need drivers you don't need anything else it's just plug and play um there was one or two things about this card i remember that weren't plug and play um originally there was two things on here if i can get the camera to focus on them there was over uh, over um override which is um the signal to tell the amiga um when i'm accessing Gale, I'm, when I'm overriding Gale, part of the chipset, and int2 uh, to tell the Amiga I have an interrupt pending for it. Um, I think override was we managed to factor that out so you didn't need it. So there was a kind of a complaint with this board um, in that you had to solder a, a, a pin header on your Amiga 500. Uh, and then put a jumper wire to it for this board to work for the IDE interface to work at full speed. And one of the earliest things, one of the earliest complaints with people on the forums for this was the IDE interface is really slow and it's well, you're missing that lead. Oh, I have to solder something. Um, some of the guys building this did feed back to me that people who were managing to kill their Amigas or, or really trash things badly by having to do that soldering. So I started to ponder at that point. How do I find, how do I get rid of that because I don't want people killing their amigas and I want to make it as plug and play as possible so the, you know there's no driver requirement. Um, also, I think this was the last board I did with the um, the forty pin IDE header because everybody asked me and and I know there's some people in Germany that want me to go back to this but the F, the, there was a petition at the time to to go to forty four pin because everybody was using forty four pin. There was no you didn't need a power header for it blah 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 all that sort of stuff so it became really easy to hang stuff off here so um this was ultimately i spent a lot of time on this board trying to get it stable at 50 megahertz um and eventually i had to move i had to uh, to, to to produce a derivative board of it uh, and i changed the ram because people suddenly as soon as you know these these were pennies when i when i was doing the five 30, but as soon as the suppliers got wind of this is probably my first experience of this since the suppliers got wind that you know these were being used for anything the prices just shot up so um i switched chip supplier for the i switched the run chip on the next board and i'll talk about that in the next video but yeah again this was a dirty pcb's job 
history of this card. It must be late um, 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016. I remember rooting this board. I had a chest infection. Um, there was builders in um, in my house at the time. Uh, they were they were renting, they were converting the garage into a living space. Um, I remember having a chest infection. I remember sitting with my son, who was two, in the living room under a duvet, coughing my lungs up. I remember sitting with the laptop, rooting this guy, trying to get it out for Christmas so people would have it for in or around Christmas. I think I actually got the, these boards the day before, the first ones of these the day before Christmas Day 2016. So that's the history of that board. Um, it's no longer supported because there was a replacement for it, a better thing. Um, some lessons learned, I, like, the, like the, the these pens and a few other things. Lessons learned on this board were moved um, uh, we're, we're moved to the next board and I'll talk about that if you're enjoying the series give it a give the video a like and subscribe if you want to if you want to be notified when the next one comes along um, but yeah thank you for watching take care and have a good one